Hello friends, this is Frankie with Meekspace.org. Hey, a lot of friends have been asking me how I take notes at the assemblies, conventions, and at meetings when I'm taking notes. Well, you know, I use two apps. My single most used app on my iPad is a theocratic app called Equipped. I think the only the main reason that I use an iPad rather than an Android device can be summed up by one app and that's Equipped. Equipped is only available on iPads and it's absolutely my favorite hands down app for my iPad. So I use Equipped and then I use an app called Notability. So let me show you, a, give you a brief demonstration of how I do that. So what I would do is I would first go in and open up my uh, application that's called Notability. Then what I would do is I would hit the plus sign on the left side and I would create a subject. So let's see, uh, let's do the RC coming up. So under that, I'm going to create a note by hitting the pencil in the top right corner. So let's go back to, to so you can see what I did. So in the top right corner, I'm going to hit the pencil. That's going to open up a new note, date, time, stamps, and everything. So uh, let's see. I'm going to just make something up. Um, of course, it'll be real, you know. Uh, okay, so that's my topic here, okay? So let's say, for example, that the brother from the stage, he says, Jehovah is God's name. And he uses a scripture to back that up. So what I would also have open at the same time is my favorite app, Equipped. So Equipped would be open, and I would have it turned to the Bible. The top ribbon is the book, the middle is the chapter, and the bottom is the verses. So, for instance, I'm double-clicking my home button and going back to Notability. The brother says, Jehovah is God's name. Turn with me to Psalms 83:18. So I would double click my home button. I would go to equipped. I would go with my finger to Psalms 83:18. And when you highlight everything, you'll notice at the bottom Psalms 83:18 is highlighted. Now I want that in my notes. So because I highlighted it by choosing the chapter, the, the, the book, the chapter, and the verse, up in the top right corner, there's a piece of paper next to the star. If you click that, it copies that scripture to the clipboard. So I double click my home button, I go back to my notes, I hold my finger there, and I paste the scripture. Then I tab down and set, and then I move on with my next topic. There, the speaker, he's talking about Jesus is God's son. So, that's how I do it. Say, for instance, the, the brother says, look up Matthew 24, 14. So I double click. I go back to the equipped application. I look up Matthew 24, 14. I hit the little paper in the top right corner. Double click. I go back to Notability, I hold my finger there, and I paste my scripture. I continue with my next note. Now, the other thing that you could be doing at the same time is in the top right corner, there's a microphone. If you click that, it'll start recording the talk. Now, it does a pretty good job recording. If, you're, if you have a lot of noise, you know, baby crying and a lot of, you know, moving around and stuff, it can be distracting. But if you're in a fairly quiet area, this recording function does a really good job. And you can actually, with a fully charged iPad, 
you can actually record the entire assembly while taking notes this way and your iPad will still have power at the end of the, uh, the day's assembly or, or convention. It's pretty awesome. That's how I use, uh, that's how I do my note taking uh, during the conventions, assemblies, and uh, at the meetings when I'm taking notes. I use Notability and I use Equipped. Now while we're on the subject of Equipped, I just want to go back to Equipped and I want to show you a little bit about it. So here's the scripture. Now say for instance I wanted to see this scripture in more than one Bible. I could come over here and I could turn on the uh, earlier version of uh, the New World Translation or say I want the American Standard Version I can turn that on the King James Version and say I want it in Arabic as well I can turn that on and so if we close that now when we look up a scripture so let's look up John 3 6 or 1st John well, we're going to look up uh, 1 Timothy 3. Sixteen. So now you've got the scripture in our 2013 edition, in our earlier edition of the New World Translation. You've got it in Arabic. You've also got the American Standard Version at the bottom down there. So that's a really cool function. I can go back now and turn these off. Now say I want to download uh, a Bible and have it available offline. In other words, this is connecting to the Watchtower online library, but what if I want to use it away from the internet? Well, that's what the little cloud button is next to that. Say I want to download the King James Version. I would go down and click the little cloud next to King James Version and it will start downloading that Bible as long as I've got internet access until it caches it when it's completely done I will no longer need the internet to be able to use this Bible so that's how you download the Bible now if we close that and we on the top right corner we hit done we'll go back to the main screen of equipped and of course you notice we've got the daily text there can also skip around by choosing the months at the top. Say you want to know what January 2nd's um, daily text was. There you have it. Um, the other cool features here is on the left hand side you also have publications. So you, not only the Bible but you have the research guide which is has recently been put online. You have that by simply clicking on it you can hit done. Now if you go for instance to the uh, different publications like there's books you notice there's all the books that are available in equipped. Again if you notice on the right hand side there's clouds where you can actually download that book so you don't have to have internet to use it. If you notice I've downloaded some of the ones uh, I've downloaded the ministry school, the reasoning, the song book up at the top I've done close to Draw Close to Jehovah and the Bible Teach Book because uh, I use those in my ministry and at the meetings. Well, I don't have to have internet to use any of these that I have synced offline. And so that's a really cool uh, functionality of uh, Equipped as well. And there are so many other things that you can do uh, with Equipped. It's just a really powerful application. Uh, another thing at the very bottom in the middle, you can click on News and you can read the latest news of JW.org. You can also click on Awake, uh, the Watchtower Public, and the Watchtower Study, and you can listen to all of the uh, magazines and stuff uh, through audio right here through this equipped application. Very powerful app. It'll do way more than what I've already gone through, and maybe sometime I'll go through a, an in-depth tutorial about equipped. But I'm telling you, if you don't already have equipped on your iPad, you are missing out if you want to, to have a very valuable uh, theocratic spiritual tool. It's very powerful. Love it. Well, that's the breakdown in a tutorial on how I study or how I take notes uh, at the conventions and assemblies and uh, also a little bit about 
my favorite app on the iPad, Equipped. Thanks for watching this tutorial.